everyone, it's Lisa here. Um, I am doing the Saturday Stash Dive on Sunday. I'm sorry, this is so late. Um, it was my nephew's birthday yesterday, and I had all the family here for it. So, um, it was a little bit busy. So, but I did finish this late last night, so it was on Saturday. Uh, but here I'm, um, the challenge today is to upcycle an item and use your scraps. So we finished this cereal, um, like this actual morning. I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do for this challenge, but, um, we did finish this cereal box and I wanted to kind of, you know, use it in somehow in, uh, this challenge. So what I actually did is I cut all the flaps off, uh, and the smaller flaps, like, cause there's the side um, pieces. So I cut everything off and just used the uh, bigger piece. And I at first cut it down to seven and a quarter by nine and a quarter. Uh, but later you're going to see I'm going to trim it down again. So here I'm just going through my bigger scraps and I'm just trying to find some pieces that are roughly about that size, seven by nine. So um, if you haven't guessed, I'm actually making my own smash book for my trip to go see Sandra. Um, I was going to buy one, but they're $15 in the Walmart here, and I'm not spending that kind of money on it, especially when I have all this stuff here. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make your own smash book. So, here I'm just going to cover um, the front and the back of these two panels and these are going to be the cover and that's why I wanted to use that cardboard because it's a little bit thicker than paper and you know it'll just keep the book from getting wrecked. So here I'm just trying to find pieces of paper that I can use to cover the inside and the outside. And like I said, at first it's at seven and a quarter by nine and a quarter but then I'm going to cut it down to seven by nine. And here I couldn't find my cutting mat, so I was cutting right onto the plastic ruler. This is a quilting ruler that my daughter gave me, so don't tell her I did that because it scratches it all up. But um, I did actually end up finding my cutting mat, so um, I used that instead after. I didn't want her coming in and seeing that I was using the ruler to cut. She would freak out, so, um, so yeah, so I am uh, just trimming off the egg like the extra little overhang pieces and it's not going to matter much because like I said I'm going to cut this bit off but um, if I was doing the actual 7x9 at first I still would do this step just to keep all the edges nice and clean and neat um, so yeah again just kind of looking for um, pieces of paper that I could use for the outside And I got to use a piece of polka dot party, so you know I was excited about that. Actually, I think I used two pieces. Yeah, I did. So. And again, just cutting up some pieces of paper, and then I'm just using ATG glue. I didn't want to use anything um, that would maybe warp the cardboard or the pattern paper, so I just wanted to... Uh, keep it as flat as possible. Again, trimming off the excess, which isn't going to matter. <laughs> and I really like doing a book like this, especially for um, this trip that I'm going on because um, there's not a lot of, um, you don't have to really plan a layout, so to speak. You can just you know, smash the stuff in there, and that's, that's really awesome. I like that. And here's where I'm cutting down the pieces to um, 7 by 9. And I was looking at my scraps, and um, some of the pieces weren't exactly 7 by 9, and at first I wanted to keep them exactly 7 by 9 so all the pages were the same, and then I'm like, you know what, forget it. Let's just go for it. I have all these scraps. And um, so yeah, here I'm just going to town, and I'm cutting uh, basically the border strip off and then 9 inches tall. I wanted to make sure they were 9 inches tall, and for that one, I even left the branding strip on because it says you're the peanut butter to my jelly, and I thought that would be fun to leave that one on there. <coughs> Pardon me. So again, just 
going to town and just cutting all these scraps up by nine. Um, it didn't matter what uh, size they were for width wise, just as long as they were seven inches tall. And it used up a ton of scrap paper, so that was awesome. And didn't matter if they matched or they didn't match. I just wanted to cut them up so that um, they could go in the book. So you can see there's quite a range of different pattern papers here. All the way from like older collections, like this one's from the Shoreline, which is a couple years ago to like some this is uh studio calico exclusive paper like I, I just did not care i just was chopping it up and just throwing it in the book i didn't add that last piece in just because it was a little bit thinner than the other pattern paper and i was worried it might rip out i wanted to kind of keep it the same weight so now you can see i'm just flipping through because there is some pieces that are a little bit smaller and I just wanted to keep kind of like the smaller pages in between some of the full length pieces just to kind of add a little bit of fun and interest. And then um, these little insert pieces are from Simple Stories and they're six by eight. <coughs> so uh, I was kind of sticking them in between some pieces of paper just to, you know, add a little bit of interest, some more interest. And you can see, like, I've got my patterns sideways, not necessarily the right way, and I don't care. I mean, it's a smash book, so. Um, and here I'm pulling out my Zutter binding machine, so this is the one I use the most. Um, so I put it on the C for cover first, and then I just move it off to the B. And um, if you have a Zutter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I move it to the B section and then just punch along until I make it almost to the end and then I was just making sure that all those holes would line up with um, that little piece on the inside. It didn't really matter much because it shifted over and it didn't quite catch one of the holes but that's okay. And here I like put way too much paper in there so it was a little bit hard to punch but I made it. So, uh, so yeah I'm just kind of I'm flipping everything over to make sure that it's going the right way because when you punch it, there definitely is a right way and a wrong way to that paper. Um, just the holes won't match up if they are punched. Like if you go to line it up and you can definitely see where they aren't lining up. Like there, they're not lining up. So I flip it over and now they're completely lined up. So here, I'm just keep on going and adding some more paper and just punching. Like I said, I was not really worried about anything lining up and just putting all that paper down and making sure it all, all the holes line up. Just makes my life easier in the end. So there you can kind of see I'm just lining up that smaller piece on the inside and then I'm going to punch my cover. <coughs> So there you go. And here I'm going to show you, like, you just emptied up by shaking it out. My little trapdoor thing fell off. So, um, yeah, I don't know where it went to. It just, I think it, I put it away and it fell off. So that's okay. Um, not a big deal. So anyway, here I am taking my binding rings. And this is a one inch binding ring. I just thought I would use a bigger binding ring just because I'm going to be adding um, some papers and stuff to it and I wanted to make sure that I had enough um, dimension or not dimension but enough space so that I could add stuff to it and weren't worry about um, it kind of doing the whole alligator mouth thing where it's opened up too wide. Now the other thing I was going to tell you is I did do my binding a little bit incorrectly. I usually like to have the the um, binding rings on the back page so it's easier to open and I put it on the inside of the front page I did that a little wrong so make sure you do it opposite to what I did I put the uh, front cover to the back or you're supposed to put the front cover to the back and I put the back cover to the front so that's the only thing is make sure you do that or I think it's the back cover to the front actually yeah 
So here I'm just showing you the inside pieces. And there you go. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. Bye.